go. Hello, Dawn. Please introduce yourself and your book. My name is Dawn Eden, and my book is The Thrill of the Chaste, Catholic Edition, Finding Fulfillment While Keeping Your Clothes On. Now, what's so thrilling about chastity? Isn't it just about not having sex? The Catechism of the Catholic Church says that all Christians are called to chastity, so that can't mean it's just about not having sex because we have to make new Christians somehow. Uh, so in the Thrill of the Chaste Catholic Edition, I write that chastity is a virtue, and virtues are never negative, like just not having sex. Virtues are always positive because they enable us to do something that we couldn't do without the help of grace. So chastity is the virtue that enables us to love fully and completely according to our state of life and according to the type of relationship. So in the marital relationship, chastity includes the marital act, sex. That's part of loving fully and completely in marriage. Uh, for an unmarried person like myself, chastity means loving fully and completely according to the relationship, like learning how to love fully as a daughter, as a sister, as a friend. Don, do you give any practical advice? Uh, what do you mean by practical advice? Well, how far can I go? Um, and no, I guess you, I, I would have to say that in that case, The Thrill of the Chase is a most impractical book. Not imprudent, mind you, but impractical, uh, because uh, I don't dwell on that kind of minutiae that you find in most chastity books, which are, for the most part, pretty much just teen purity books. This is a book for uh, adults, especially adults like myself, who are coming to chastity later in life. And so if chastity is learning to love fully and completely in every relationship, in a way that's appropriate to the relationship, then rather than dwelling on how far can I go, you want to dwell on how to love. And for me, as I write in The Thrill of the Chaste, learning to love is learning how to be present for God, who is always present for me and always loves me, and then through learning that practice of the presence of God, learning how to be truly present in love for, for others. Now, Dawn, what makes this new Catholic edition different from the original? Well, I wrote the original while I was in RCIA. I'd been, uh, I'd been living as a Protestant for five years after, uh, after uh, being a, a Jewish rock journalist uh, through my uh, 20s. So with the uh, original Thrill of the Chaste, uh, I'm not knocking it by any means. It's uh, helped uh, tens of thousands of, of people. But since I wasn't yet a Catholic, I didn't yet understand how living the life of the Church in the sacraments really reinforces chastity and really enables one to better learn how to love as God loves. So I talk about the sacraments in this book. I talk about the, Euchar the Eucharist, baptism, uh, conf confession. But I also talk about the saints, and I give stories from the lives of the saints. I talk about vocation. Oh, and the first uh, edition of The Thrill of the Chaste was just for women, and that opened me up to all kinds of criticism from people who accused me of, uh, of being sexist, holding a double standard. Uh, and that's not true. It's not just women who are called to chastity. We all are. And now that I've been living chastely longer, I feel more confident being able to write for men uh, as well as women, and writing uh, not only for people hoping for marriage, but also for people who are discerning a celibate vocation. Dawn, we're just about out of time. To close, can you please summarize your book in ten words or less? Chastity is learning how to love others as God loves you.